Hey everybody, welcome back to day three of our daily devotional challenges, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we hope that uh, the things we're talking about, my wife and I, are really challenging you to do something that's just might be out of the norm for you, uh, especially in this time where we are um, we're stuck indoors. Uh, it's raining today. We got thunder, lightning, and some pretty heavy rain happening. But um, uh, so on top of the you know the the coronavirus thing happening, and we're just uh, we're home. Uh, we might be getting a little bored, uh, for lack of better words, uh, bored, a little stir crazy, uh, maybe a little anxious because we're stuck behind the four walls of our homes. And uh, so again, we just want to we just want to challenge you all to make this time something that um, is out of your norm. Do things that are out of your norm uh, that you probably wouldn't often do or that you don't do enough of. Uh, so you notice me sitting here. Uh, this is my Chuck Norris approved uh, total gym. Uh, bought this a little over a year ago at Costco, uh, which we tried to go there today. And whoa, it's still crazy. Uh, didn't want to wait in those lines, so we just nixed it. But uh, anyways, beside the point. Uh, as the craziness is still happening in the world. Um, bought this a year ago, and um, you know, I've used it every day, and I'm so muscular. Six pack happening, my, my muscles are huge. And uh, actually, okay, I'm lying, totally. I'm totally lying, I'm not muscular, I have no six pack. Um, actually, I've used this thing more for hanging clothes. Uh, my kids get, get on it and just go up and down on it because it's fun for them, it's a toy. Um, it hasn't been used what, it's, what it was bought for, uh, to try to get myself back into shape and, and you know and I, I hate the thought of that I hate that I bought this thing for you know pretty hefty amount of money a little over a year ago and uh, <clears throat> haven't used it very much at all I've um, done some pretty cool workouts on it and I, that's what I loved about it because it's you know total gym does you know every muscle in the body so it's it's a good thing for uh, you know low energy type workouts that I that I do as, as that I try to do let's just say that um, so had this thing for a year and um, I just wish I used it more and so my challenge today and this is also a challenge to me uh, because I need it just like anyone else um, when we're talking about doing things that are out of the norm uh, things we haven't done in a long time this is what I want to get back to doing is getting myself into shape because again sitting behind these four walls I'm one of those I'm one of those bored uh, stress eaters you know when things get heavy uh, in, in my life, I like to you know grab some food because you know hey, food is, is comfortable, helps us feel better, and uh, especially all the sweet stuff, the candy. I love my candy, love my chocolate, uh, my Skittles. You know I'm just a huge fan of, of candy and sweets. So we're doing our best to not buy that stuff right now as as uh, as we are in this um, semi quarantine. You know being stuck at home, but um, I want to get I want to get into better shape. That's just my that's just my own goal. And um, so what I want to try to do for myself is challenge myself to get back on my Chuck Norris approved total gym here, which I can say Chuck Norris is probably not, you know, thumbs up in me right now. He's probably very disappointed that it's just been sitting here collecting dust. So Chuck, I'm sorry if you're, if you're watching this, because I know you are. Um, but um, getting outside, uh, we, have a, we have a wonderful uh, golf cart path right there that's not being used right now as well. Uh, so I want to get in shape. So that's my challenge today. Uh, sorry as I've rambled on here, but my challenge to you is to, again, uh, get back out there and do something that you might not normally do. And that's, again, keeping your body in shape because we, um, in these times of boredom, we, we might want to sit around. We might want to sulk. We might want to... Um, be caught in our self-pity. We might want to be caught in our anxiety and our stress, uh, it, maybe even panic or whatever it may be in our lives. And the best thing we can do for that is to keep ourselves in a place where our, our mind and our hearts and even our hands and our, our, our feet, everything about us is busy. So I want to challenge you guys to do that today because there's a verse here I love. It's, it's uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. And it just simply says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Now, the cool part about that is we can be stuck in our house, but we can still be doing things that are glorifying God because um, the, ver the Bible says it can. The Bible says everything that we can do, we can do it for God's glory. So when we're up there uh, vacuuming the house, when we're cleaning things that we don't want to clean, when we're on a, on a total gym or whether we're uh, lifting weights or walking down a cart path or we're outside mowing lawns or we're uh, spraying off sidewalks or we're making beds or cleaning up bedrooms because right now there's really not much else to do, we can do that all for God's glory because 
He's given us the breath in our lungs. He's given us the hands and the feet to do all this stuff. And so I just want, you know, it's, I want to be a challenge to myself that everything I'm doing, I'm glorifying God because he's given me the ability and the resources to do this. And so I want you to look at it the same way, to have that same perspective uh, whenever you're doing anything what you, you feel like just maybe mundane in your household, we can put a smile on our face, we can pop on some worship music, and maybe you want to do that as well. Throw on some worship music, throw on some Christian music, throw on something that's going to put your heart and your mind and your head into a place of worship. It doesn't have to be at a church. We don't have to be in the four walls of a church. We don't have to be at a, at a Christian concert. We don't have to be any of those places to, to lift our hearts in worship to God. We can do it right in our own home, and we can do it no matter what we're doing, no matter what mundane job, what mundane task that we are doing, we can worship God. And we can do every, anything we do, we can do for God's glory. And so that's my challenge today. You know, get yourself back in shape. Get out and go for a walk. You know, if you're cleaning the house, if you're doing anything that you feel like is just boring or you're doing it because you're so bored, you just need something to do, do it for the glory of God. Throw on some music. Um, grab, grab God's word here. Open it up and, and find out how you can just worship God in every area of your life, because we can. Everything we, we do that brings honor and glory to God is worship. It's not just music. It's not just giving offerings. It's not just a fellowship at our church. It's not just a, a sermon on a Sunday morning. Everything that we do that brings honor and glory to God is worship. And you can do that in any part of your lives. You can do that with anything that you're doing throughout the day. So I challenge you today, Get out there and do something. Don't, don't sit around. Don't sulk. Don't get caught in your self-pity. Don't get caught in the anxiety. But get your heart, get your mind, get your body busy and do everything you do for the glory of God. Worship Him in everything that you do. God bless you guys and we'll see you tomorrow.